Oh. They get me back. So welcome back to our channel guys. It's been a quite a few months now since we've done our last video. Mm, yeah. As you'll recall, the last one I did was in Zante. Lagana. Lagana. It's a bit of a different climate now. We're in Anglesey in North Wales. We're staying at a nice little pub come hotel called the Bull Hotel. You see it in the background there in a very small village called Valley. So it's about two hours, maybe two and a half hours from Manchester, traffic dependent. So it's a nice drive though, where most of it's down the A55. Beautiful views, so definitely recommend the drive, if nothing else. But um, yeah, we're gonna stay at the Bull Hotel. Just gonna go and check in now, see what room we get given and show you around the room. It looks like we've got a really lovely day today. It is, yeah. yeah. Um, so, oh, yeah. and uh, welcome to our tours for 24. Yeah. We're all checked in and uh, we've got the keys. We're in room number six, which is here. Hey! Ah! Hey. Hiya! Fancy meeting you, are you? And you. Ah! What it's are you doing here today? Just come for a weekend with my husband. Do you want to come and see inside the uh, the room that we've got? Yeah, let's take you on a little tour. Have a yeah. bit of a tour around First the things first, I notice there's a nice big window. Not the best view. We've got um, yeah. some sunshine outside. That's a good thing. But it's a beautiful day today. It is. Beautiful, sunny, blue skies. About 11 degrees. Not bad for beginning of February. So yeah, I'll take you on a little tour around the room. Um, first things first, we've got an ensuite, which is massively important. You don't want to be sharing a bathroom with other people. Nice shower. Nice size shower, should I say. It's all quite clean. You've got provided towels, two each. Scented them like this. You get a little uh, shampoo and conditioner. To be fair shower though, gel. do you know the uh, the towels that we, we, we had when we were in Manor, Manor House, House, there was a lot more you fluffier. Couldn't beat them. You no. couldn't beat them. You've got a nice size bed. Mm. Bit of uh, something funky going on on this headboard though. Um, yeah, loads of storage. If you were to stay here for a while, you've got two lots of bedside drawers, both with a lamp. Complimentary water. Quite warm in here as well, isn't it? Yeah, very warm. So yeah, you get a complimentary bottle of water each, which is nice, nice little touch. We've got the TV. More storage and a TV, a little bin. And most importantly, your own tea and coffee making facilities. That is a is must. The, and the kettle looks pretty clean. So that's a good thing. And a chair that we've just dumped our last stuff on. Uh, yeah. Carpets look nice. Carpets are comfy. As we got into the, the pub, it was very busy because I think Wales are playing rugby today, aren't they? Yeah, and the Welsh are massive on rugby. They uh, love their rugby. They love it. We filmed down there because it was a bit too much going on. And we just wanted to get the key and then give you guys a bit of a, a bit of a tour around the, uh, the room that we've got. So this room was um, 75. £72, we booked it on booking.com, um, £72 for a night, with breakfast included. Obviously, we'll give you a bit of an update on what the breakfast is like in the morning. Um, I'll take my camera down this time, because I know Manor House, I said we'll film the breakfast. But we didn't, we were too busy <laughs> we chilling our faces. Too, yeah, we were just too busy eating this stuff instead of filming. We are nine minutes away from Triador Bay. Triador Bay, I think it's Bay, um, so we're going to go and check that out next. So as we said, we are in Anglesey and the place um, is a little village called Valley. Very much to the northwest, yeah. like up near Hollyhead. Like if you know, you way. know. If you live here, you know. We are fortunate today to get a really nice day. I mean, it's 11 degrees out there. Yeah. And we left Manchester the, this morning and it was about what? Five. About five. Four five. But yeah, it's about four or five. So uh, we are fortunate that we've got some really nice weather and hopefully we will have some nice weather tomorrow so we can just keep filming. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get ready and we're going to go to... Triador Bay. Triador Bay. John will see you guys there. A lot of books here, don't you? If you need a book, so that's the corridors. Nice and quiet, aren't they? Lovely. Well maintained. I'm not sure how many uh, how many rooms do you reckon there is. I don't know, we're in number six and the corridor seems to go a bit Just further. keep going around, at least ten. We'll have a look after when we come back. Just leave the camera on so you can hear how busy it is in here. Rugby. Rugby. Um, just about to um, Google map where we're about to go, Triador Bay. Triador Bay, which is there. 
Hopefully it won't be too far. Oh, nine minutes away. Something else which is it's been implemented for this year, uh, since last time we came back, uh, came to Wales. They have enforced a new 20 miles per hour on most of the side roads, some main roads. Um, so always allow a little bit of extra time if you want to go somewhere while you're here because it, 20 miles per hour is relatively slow. I mean, I'm doing it right now and it's like super slow. So yeah, allow a bit of extra time if you're going out traveling. Yeah, Trev's getting his boots on. I think we're gonna get um, mucky feet. The white trainers can stay in the boot. Yeah. I've got mine on, new walking boots. I think it's gonna be messy out here. Possibly, it's sunshine, look at that. It's been blaring down here. Beautiful. We're actually finding it hard to uh, see about two meters down there, aren't we? Because yeah. the sun's just blinding in our eyes all the time. But uh, we're here now in- Triador Bay. Triador Bay. So, tree boy, yeah. So I'll give you a bit of a pan around, see uh, see what's here. It's lovely. Kitty's on the bikes. Everybody's out because the sun's out. Making the most. So this is uh, it's a bit of a beach, isn't it? Yeah. It's not a big beach. It's like a. It's a bay. It's a bay. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> So this is why we put our boots on. It gets a bit splodgy. A bit splodgy. Oh, hello. Our doggies. Hello. Our doggies out. Beautiful beach. Oh, Debbie and the dogs. <laughs> yeah. As I say, we're very fortunate that we got uh, some good weather today. Because last time we. Uh, Remember last time we was in in Wales, which was last year, wasn't it? Oh, and, was, in, uh, was it August? Yeah, can July you remember August. when it was lashing it down? It was absolutely it was on the, throwing it down and it was freezing. Yeah, we was on the motorway and uh, did a bit, bit of a video then and it was lashing it down. Well, was it August? Yeah. Maybe, maybe well, it was earlier than that. Where what was it that we went to? Went to Land now. That's it, that was the day where it was oh. really windy and um, which you'll see on one of our uh, previous videos. Yeah, go and check it out. This is beautiful here. Yeah? You can see with the sun, it's been like this all day, just absolutely yeah. beaming in you our can faces. You see how far this sea comes in as well, because yeah. there's a lot of seaweed on the on the sand here. I think the tide is out at the moment, because it seems quite far from... Yeah, you can see if you, if you turn the camera around and show the beach, you can see where the water was up to. So the tide's definitely out. Yeah, it's about out. there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's coming. Can you imagine it being really busy here on a really sunny day. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, like, yeah warm, definitely. When it's, uh, I mean, it's if a bit you just look at, look at the little view around us, like all the little houses and. So there's not really much here though, is there? There's a We've noticed there's a couple of pubs. Yeah, a couple um, of pubs, a bar, coffee bar. There's a play area for the kids. We've not really been up this way yet. We've um, we've parked we parked around this area, which is this this the main part of it. So it's lovely. It almost feels strange being on a beach in February. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It feels a little bit alien, but <laughs> if you're going to get any warmer... In fact, this has got to be the warmest day so far this year, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, it has, yeah. So this, this weekend, it was predicted that Wales uh, was supposed to be... Snowy. Um, ...supposed to be uh, full of snow. So was Scotland, as possible. we were supposed to be going up to uh, Scotland, but because um, the, the media said that it was going to be really snowy, we kind of just thought, well, should we just go to Wales? I don't want to really get stuck in Scotland. So we've opted to come to Wales instead. And um, it's been nothing but a nice day up to now. Look at this. I've not got sand between my toes today. No, no. These I mean, toes are not coming out. I mean, I have got my shorts on, but that's only because <laughs> I wear shorts all year round, don't I? It's not cold. No, it's not. The sun, when you're in the sun, it's beautiful. It's yeah. really warm. I'll get your wellies on and in the water for a dip. Yeah, let's go and have a walk around this, this way. And see what's down here. So it's like little alcoves with um, puddles of water in. So glad that I put my boots on instead of my trainers. If you're like me though, with big long legs, you can just step across them. <laughs> yeah. The advantages of being so tall. Advantages of being a giraffe. It's actually a little bit strange to do a video after all the last year's um, adventures, doing it fully clothed. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, oh. Do you know what you can smell as well here? Uh, I know you can't smell it on the camera. I can smell it. But yeah, fish and chips. Fish and Classic chips. Classic fish and chips at the seaside. Yeah. And it, you can, do you know what? You never beat um, fish and chips from the coast. Yeah. You know it's guaranteed to be fresh. And you know that it's guaranteed to be full of sand in your chips. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be gritty. On the beach. Oh, look at this. Oh, pooch. Border collie. Absolutely loving life. So, uh, oh, it's a bit fresh down this end, isn't it? People are actually in the sea. That must be, that must have some kind of proof into the, what we're saying about the temperature. It's quite warm. Yeah. It is for uh, a February. Absolutely. And it's uh, four o'clock here at the moment as well, so. Yeah, um, yeah. The sun will be going down shortly. Yeah, it will. So, uh, fact, if you're lucky enough, we might even get it to sun, it might get a sunset on. Uh, camera there. You reckon? I reckon, yeah. Sunset in Wales! To be fair, this has got to be one of the nicest beaches I've seen in Wales. Yeah. So far. It definitely beats uh, Tallinn, doesn't oh, it? Oh god, yeah. Without a doubt. Just having a drive out for an hour or so can bring you to places like this, you know. We've uh, we've travelled to Anglesey and we've, uh, it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful drive, isn't it? Yeah, stunning. You know, when you're, uh, when you're living in the city of like Manchester and the you see areas. the rural areas yeah it's just lovely to have a bit of a break and come away to uh, to all the nature I think that guy's trying to come in Do you it, yeah look he's coming yeah, in up a little bit further yeah that's further. probably probably why the kids have just left <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we'll turn around in a minute and there'll be a load of sea behind us. We'll have to get paddling yeah, through it to get back. <laughs> that's it. But if you come here on a, a nice summer's day, there's plenty of uh, space to cabbage out for the day, you know. Chill out with your kids and let them go and, uh, go and run in the sea a bit. Yeah, because once that tide's out, you've got a lot of sand left. Yeah. Still got a lot of space, but then it's down to tide times, I'm guessing, because if you turn the camera there, if you can see this line around. Yeah, so that's about here. Yeah, that looks like where the tide comes in too. So you'd only have that strip of sand, wouldn't you? Yeah. But I don't know. It's still worth coming, isn't it? Well, the last time I was in Anglesey was when I was a little baby. Uh, and I can't really remember it that much. But uh, as an adult, obviously, I'm going to remember it a bit more. Now we're filming it as well. Yeah, memories forever. Memories forever. Now, I know Anglesey has probably got a bit more to give than, uh, than the bay that we're at. We need to work out what we're going to do tomorrow, aren't we, really? I think tomorrow to we're going to go and visit Carnarvon. Oh, Carnarvon, oh, they are. The She's list. already sorted it out. So Carnarvon's going to be on the cards tomorrow. Um, but as I said, um, I think Anglesey has got more to, to offer. But um, we were supposed to be in Wales yesterday, but something came up and we had to... Uh, set off to Wales today instead um, so we've got a bit less time than than we thought just to come and get a video for you guys really um, and it's a bit of a break for us as well we're getting that sunset sunset in. I have actually just got a really <laughs> nice picture that's good you can see the sun oh I'm sinking there oh watch it that yeah it's a bit <laughs> I literally a bit look at that I was stood on dry sand and it ended up and it's moving yeah there's a lot it's of water swampy. under there, yeah. Oh, it's ready to come in. I was going to say, I wouldn't stand in one place, but look at that. Should we get a photo with the sunset in the back? Yeah. Let's get it with everybody on the camera. <laughs> Let's just turn my camera. Where's the sun? Oh yeah, there it is. Just move around. That's it. There we go. There you go. There you go. You got a photo with us, guys. <laughs> it's nice to be back on YouTube, isn't it? It is. I know it's like, for me it's been a long time because uh, I haven't been away, I haven't really done anything since um, we came, Kefalonia. You came back, yeah, you came back beginning of September, I went away mid-September. Yeah, so Kefalonia was my last video and uh, Lagina was uh, Debbie's last video. I've not really done any trips, but I have obviously edited the videos. If you had seen the previous videos and you enjoy our content, don't forget what you're laughing at. I thought you said contank. Cont well, it, it can't, it can't come Content. out that way. Contank. Anyway, let me start again. So if you've seen the previous videos and you like what you see, and you like our natural yeah. way of life, if you will, on the videos, don't forget to give us a like. It's important to give us a like and a sub. 
Um, and please remember, we're not professionals. We are literally <laughs> no. just winging life. We, yeah. Winging it in Wales right now. We are, yeah. and that's the, that's going to be the title of this yeah, video: winging so. it in Wales. Well, winging I'd say I'd say wing it in Anglesey. Yeah. Yeah. Because no, not the same. Winging it in Wales sounds better. All oh, right. Okay. I think the sun's going to go in now. Yeah, it's going down. Yeah, we know that you guys love the Wales videos. Um, so that's we get... why we brought you back. Yeah, that's why we brought you back. Whether we get the content right or not, you know, misinformation or not, we just try to do our best and we wing it. And we're still learning. We are, we're, we're still learning. learning. Still so. growing, still learning. But thank you to the 201 subscribers that have already subscribed. Yeah, we're at 201 We're really grateful now. for that. It was yeah. like a little milestone for us. Yeah, we was quite happy about that. Yeah. And to say we only started the channel last year, and I know there's a lot more of improvements that we need to make. Um, we, uh, we're, we're quite happy that we're at the 200, 200 mark. And we're always open to suggestions. So, you know, if, if you want to write in the comments where, you know, somewhere we could try next, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Suggest somewhere that we could go, because sometimes you, you're you wondering what you can do next and, and you, your mind goes blank. But if you know any really nice places you think that we'd like, you know, that we'd enjoy, or even any places that you've been to and you'd like to see our perspective of it yeah you know feel free to comment yeah that's the view from <laughs> this end do a pan around a few signs there isn't there what's that say Treador Bay. Treador Bay. So it's say welcome to and then Croazo Bay Treador. So that's the little map that we've got here. These are just plonked on a stone wall. What's this one? Enjoy your visit in a safe and a responsible way. So that's this side of Wales. So where are we right now? There's Bangor. So we are, let me have a look. And speaking in me Wales accent, I am. <laughs> I don't bloody know. Well, it must be. S is, uh, I'm just having a look where we uh, we pass. We it's got an airport. Yeah, Angus Airport. Yeah. All oh, right, never knew that. We're not far from there, so there we are. I knew we were near the airport. Well spotted. Ah, so there we are down there. Right on the west. We come all the way down here. So there's plenty of signs here, so plenty of information uh, we keep coming across. I just thought we'd share it with you. 1st of May and the 30th of September, no dogs are allowed on this beach, so if you're going to bring your dogs here, come outside of those months. Well, it actually tells you which part are you allowed to have your dogs, oh, so and which it does. part you're not. So it does. So is that one side you're allowed, and yeah. one side you're not? Which is understandable, because I'm guessing families are here, and so there's a protected bathing area. That's what that will be about. If you can see that there. Yeah, it's gone a bit fresh now that sun's gone down. Yeah, it has gone a bit fresh now that sun's gone down. Yeah, the temperature has dropped dramatically, hasn't yeah. it? I can actually uh, feel the cold in my legs. Yeah. I don't I think can. I brought any pants either, you know. <laughs> what a shock. <laughs> I brought some clean undies though, which oh. is uh, the main thing. Yeah. So, I might have to wear my undies tomorrow instead. <laughs> what do you reckon? Don't get away with that. <laughs> drive from where we're staying at the bull so this does um this is also our bed and breakfast as well that does accommodation uh, the menu looks quite nice what it looks like in the valley is it valley and there's your menu look at the menu 
Got the vegan, vegan options in your grills. Grill. The little one's got some sides and then to finish. Yeah, so the reason why we've come here is because the Bull Hotel where we're staying uh, isn't serving food because the rugby's on. So it's England versus Wales. So obviously the Welsh love the rugby. Um, so yeah, we've come here and it's a lot quieter. It's a bit more chilled, that. Yeah, it's a lot more chilled than where we're staying. Taking the coat off, yeah. So I've gone for the chilli. You get the chilli, it's a homemade chilli. Um, really, really nice. We've got some Doritos with it. Yeah, I've gone for lasagna. I've had a bit of a pick at it because I'm starving. And then we've got some garlic bread. Is it cheesy garlic, garlic cheese and some butter. chips? And all together, this cost with the drinks. With the drinks, it cost, uh, was it 30 pounds? 35. 35 quid. Bargain. Uh, so I want to tuck in now. Enjoy. Mm. Right here. Well, gotta say, guys, that food was banging in there, wasn't it? It was. I'm full. I don't, I don't think I could manage to eat it all, to be honest, because it was that big. The portion sizes, as you can see on the plate, was pretty. Uh, Pretty but big. I was, I was greedy as always and ordered sides of uh, garlic chia pasta good bread and then. Yeah, but there was thick. There was thick That's what there. I'm saying. Like, really thick. Like... So for £35, that was a really good deal. It was. And uh, everything was piping hot. Uh, all the food were piping hot, as it should be. I would highly recommend that place. So, what we're going to do now, we're just going to head off back to our hotel and um, we're just going to put our feet up because we're knackered, aren't we? Did you see it? Have I got a dodgy lap? Yeah, well. So we just got back from our meal. We're oh, very full now, aren't we? Very full indeed. Yeah. We're going to have breakfast in the morning. I'll take the camera down and uh, we'll get some footage of the, uh, of the breakfast in the morning. But we're absolutely whack now, so we're just going to uh, chill out Watch a bit of telly, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. It's time to get up for breakfast, I think. I've got to say, that's probably been one of the worst sleeps I've had. Yeah, um, the towel, towels, I'm going to say the towels. <laughs> uh, the pillows were oh, like sleeping on concrete bricks. And the wall, the room is just so warm. I have to have the, uh, the two windows open for more majority of the night. So we're just off down there, downstairs for, uh, for breakfast. Uh, my camera died when I, just, uh, when I just did a bit of filming in the room. So I'm going to sort that out. But yeah, we'll see what the, see what the breakfast is like. You all right? Well, would you like some tea, coffee? Oh, I'll have uh, a coffee too, please. You have a tea too? Yeah, watch yourself there. Thank you. I'll we'll get some orange. Apple. Apple. You want orange? Morning. Morning. How are you? Tired. <laughs> Let's drink your breakfast. Oh, looks good. Bacon, egg, sausage, mushrooms, um, black pudding. We'll get stuck in with this at the moment. I'm sorry to all the uh, non-meat e e eaters out there, but I just have to show you this. So this is um, Welsh, Welsh cut bacon, locally sourced, really thick. It's absolutely de delicious. Great breakfast, babe. Breakfast was <coughs> pretty spot on. Really nice, actually. I'm so full right now. But yeah, loads of variety. You've got everything, everything you could possibly want on a breakfast. Loads of tea. Nice little pot of tea. Yeah, give you enough, don't we? And then you've got your toast. And I obviously finish off with a, a little bit of jam on toast, just to it's like a little dessert after you 
your full Welsh or full English. Yeah, it was really nice. Got some apple yeah. juice, just swell it all down with. Right, we smashed it. Oh, beautiful mm. breakfast, thank you very much. Mm. To some places, you don't get half as much as what you do on that plate. Oh, I'm known, known for overfeeding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same. thing is, if you give somebody decent breakfast, they remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we do for remember it, yeah. Say that. No, that's good. Come back if you look after them well in the morning. Say it again. <laughs> used to say, they'll come back if you look after them Yeah, in no, the you're right. Yeah, it's all about the breakfast in the yeah. morning, isn't it? Yeah, but there's some that you don't want to come back. <laughs> I've been to a few of them as well, usually in Blackpool and places yeah. like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, have a good day. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Take care. I'll be back down with the key in yeah, a bit. Yeah, just leave it on the bar. Right. Oh, really? Cheers. Thank you. So it's me again. Um, just want to give you a quick review on the breakfast. I know I'm looking a bit, a bit worse for wear this morning. I didn't sleep too well. Uh, breakfast was amazing. There's a nice lady that serves us breakfast. Basically gives you everything you want. You get a nice little menu to choose what you want. We had the choice of a full Welsh breakfast, which is very similar to a full English, the same thing. Um, we had choice of cereals and omelettes. Vegetarian breakfast, if, you, if you're vegetarian. There was plenty to choose from for breakfast. Uh, there was yogurts and fresh juices on the table. Uh, she even offered us more toast, but obviously we've like we got the, we went for the traditional Welsh breakfast, which was two bacon, two eggs, two sausages, black pudding, hash brown as you, your beans, mushrooms, tomatoes. So yeah, you, you definitely don't go hungry here anyway, and they set you up for the day. So breakfast was really nice. I'd give that a good ten out of ten actually. The bacon was just unreal. It wasn't that cheap nasty stuff you get. So yeah, I really enjoyed the breakfast. So I've just found some leaflets downstairs of things to do. While you stay in an angle, see? Um, this is one that I've been to in the past, Aviation Museum. Um, it's right, and it's in Carnarvon. It's like, it's like a small airport there. Um, so there's some admission prices there. So your adults are seven pounds, senior citizens five pound. Quite reasonably priced. Children are five pound. Under twos for free. And then you've got the uh, Anglesey attractions. So you find all these leaflets just in the entrance to the hotel side of it. Um, so that looks like oh, that looks like a power boat ride. That sounds fun. And then I don't know what that is. Fishing trips. Greenwood Forest, apparently that's really good for children. Um, they have like rides and things like that. I think it's quite outdoorsy. Um, and it's been voted the best family attraction as well. And then you've got Gypsy Wood, which is looking like it's another nice day out for the family. So there's plenty to do when you're staying in here. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a nice review on the, the stay at the Bull Hotel. Um, really, really nice. Nice place, nice area, very quiet, quite remote, um, just off the A55, if you come off at Valley, I think it's Junction 3, is it? Yeah. Um, it's literally five minutes from there, or two minutes from there, so really nice location, there's Beautiful. plenty around us. The actual building that we're in is, is really nice, very clean, very, very warm, um, in fact too warm I'd say. If, in the know, room, yeah. Yeah, in the room, we've had to turn the radiator down. Yeah, I struggled sleeping last night, I had to open the windows unfortunately. Yeah, so it was very warm, So, which is nice if you, if you like your room warm, but mm. not everybody can sleep in a, in a warm room. Um, very clean, everything you could possibly need for a night's stay. Only downside is the bed. The bed that we have in room six is quite hard, the pillows are quite flat but hard. Um, other than that, I'd give this place a good seven and a half, eight out of ten, would you? What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I would for the price of the money anyway, yeah. yeah. It was definitely up there for seven and a half, eight. Well, yeah, for £72, the breakfast itself was worth £10 each easily. Mm. You know, if you were to go out and eat anything, um, it'd cost you easily a £10, yeah. £10 bill each, definitely. Uh, so, if you look at it as just the room only at £50 for the night, because, you know, take off the £20 for the breakfast, we've got quite a good deal, really. Um, we've really enjoyed it. The area's really nice, like I say. Um, so, yeah, I think the hotel all in all, 
I definitely recommend it for anybody wanting to come and stay. I wouldn't definitely wouldn't stay here for much longer than a night or two, but for for the odd night here and there, perfect. Thank you. Ah. Cheers, love. Thank you very no much. Enjoyed ourselves. Thank you. Yeah, thank, oh, thank you. you. Thank you. Take care. Thank you too. Whatever you end up. <laughs> See, See you later. Bye. So we're off now to Carnarvon, which is about how long? I don't know. I'll find out. Well, let's have found. Right, let's find out, shall we? Let's find out. So <laughs> yesterday, uh, when we went to the bay, which was <laughs> we was calling it Triador Bay, but it's actually. actually Triada. <laughs> Triada Bay. So well, it wasn't far off. No. Uh, yeah. So I thought we were, thought we have to really scrub up on that for you uh, Welsh people that are watching the video. They're thinking you dumb English man. Yeah. yeah. So um, Triada. So it's uh, literally, as I guessed, forty minutes away from here. Right. Um, so what we're going to do? We're going to apparently it's like uh, an aviation uh, museum there. So we're going to head down that way now. It's open at 10 o'clock. I think it's like seven pounds for adults per adult. So we're going to see if we can uh, get in there and film in there so you can have a look with us. And um, we'll take it from there, won't we? We will. Yeah, so. Just cleaning up the glasses so I can see. Yeah, fog, fog, fog. It is pretty nippy today. Um, it's about seven degrees. Um, so the temperature dropped uh, quite a bit since yesterday. Uh, so, but yeah, we'll see you when we get there. On a campsite um, just nine miles outside of Carnarvon uh, called Morpha Lodge. It's quite a, a hidden gem actually, not many people know about it. Um, it's a site for tourers and statics, quite expensive to stay on. Uh, it looks like they're doing some development on here, making it a bit bigger and a bit better, maybe more modern. But it's a, it's absolute hidden gem. I definitely recommend you to come and have a look at it and come and um, possibly have a stay on here because it's just such a remote little place really nice if you want a peaceful breakaway and um, there is a small clubhouse on site there is also if i can remember rightly a laundrette on site so and where, where is this place in? this is called dinas donnell i think it's called donnell it's spelt dinas donnell it's literally in the middle of nowhere and the airport that we are going to uh, for the museum is just literally down the, 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 uh, the track. Uh, so you have to put, come past the airport to, to get to uh, this little campsite, but it is literally remote in the, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and you got you just got the sea uh, surrounding the area. So I just thought we, uh, we'll give you a bit of a tour around here. Obviously we're not staying here, but just give you a tour around here for, for, for you guys that don't know um, about this place. It is um, a hidden gem, it it's is. not something like where in Tawin you know all the sites and you know where everything is. Yeah. Whereas this is uh, it's a completely different kettle of fish. Um, you can bring your you can bring your caravans here, your own caravans. Yeah, the statics here and these um, you can bring your tourers and stuff and just just jump on a plot. Um, yeah it looks really, looks absolutely lovely. So over there, you can see where the uh, clouds are hitting the the tops of that. Is that a mountain? Mountain, yeah. Yeah, that's Snowdonia. On a clear day, you can see the peak. Really nice. I've well, just arrived at Carnarvon Airfield in the middle of nowhere. I'll just show you, uh, see that in the background. That'll be the tower. Ambulance. Oh yeah, of course it is. So. I'm converting. Check this, check this place out. So this is where the uh, ambulance helicopter uh, departs. Okay. If you ever need... Uh, Air ambulance? Yeah, I think it's here, isn't it? Yeah. So, I'll look down here. They've got a cafe in here as well, haven't they? Carnarvon Airport Cafe. Lovely. Looks like it's booming in there. Doesn't it? <laughs> There's a few people in there though. There is, yeah. Oh, 
everyone's probably thinking, what are you doing with that? Right kids, how's it going? There's the uh, helicopter. It's a shame we can't get up close to it really, isn't it? So, if you ever work here, past this gate, you have to have your high-vis jacket on at all times, otherwise you get a £20 fine. It's not steep that though, is it? No, it's not gone up with inflation. No. The control tower's actually got a man in it. You can just see his head. <laughs> on one of the uh, plane hangers there. Pleasure flights, flying lessons. So you can get flying lessons from here. I think we read that it was what? £140 for 20 minutes. For 20 minutes, but they do other, um, they do do other larger packages. Yeah, um, they do, yeah. Flying lessons. Did, didn't it say that the second person rides in the back for free? Oh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it said that on the leaf. leaf read the leaflet, it's in my backpack. Pleasure flights. Helicopter pleasure flights from £69. And then, oh yeah, trial oh, yeah, flights can include one passenger to be taken in the back seat at no extra cost. There you, there go. you go. Free. So 20 minutes, 140. Uh, 40 is 190. In 60 minutes, so an hour, you get an hour for 250 pounds. Gift vouchers there. That'd be a really good gift to give, wouldn't it? It would. Yeah. But it's not for us. I know we like flying and getting away from the country, but I'm well, not really. Uh, I'm not really particular when it comes to the little, the little tiny planes. Hang on. What? That's the aeroplane trail, aeroplane um, trail flight. It's got helicopter. Oh, they've got the helicopter, the helicopter pleasure flights as well. Oh, cool. So to go to Carnarvon Castle, it's seventy pounds, or sixty-nine pounds per person. So we're about here. Yeah. So you know where we are. We are there. Carnarvon. So. Mm. Air museum. Museum. I couldn't tell you what that word says underneath. I know it says air museum, but I'm not pronouncing it's, um, <laughs> it's, it's exactly museum air, but it's in Welsh. Oh, it, it looks like it's backwards. It is. Oh, museum air. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so then I think this is like a little gift shop before you go to the museum. Is that correct? Yeah, uh, looks that way. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it says it's open, so that's a good uh, that's a good spot. <sighs> Your, uh, your aeroplanes. So fuzzy Ted's. Yeah, 350 quid. Some little knickknacks. Thank you very much. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Thank you. Hey, mate. You alright? No, no. Uh, are we allowed in the museum? Uh, yes. Yeah, are we allowed to film in there? Yeah, please yeah. do. Yeah, is that okay? Brilliant. Two adults, please. That's 14 pounds, please. I've been here so many times, I've never come in this museum. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, today I'm going to change that. <laughs> uh, quick way for going, please mind the heads on low wing tips, few sharp edges here and there. Some of the aircraft you can get in the cockpits. Please okay. be able to get in your lap, don't press the jump to seat button. <laughs> <laughs> I have had parents come out. They're not live, are they? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cafe and toilets are over there. Brilliant, yeah, thank brilliant. you. Thank you very much. Here's your ticket, Kevin. Thank you very much. Lovely place, thank you. Cheers. Thanks. Get all this on. Magical. Magical. Oh, 
Take that wall off. Okay. Can you go through this little door? Cheers, fella, thank you. Yeah. Oh, fit this in here. So he said we could we could get into some some of the aircrafts. So. As long as we don't press the ejector button. <laughs> but this is this is amazing. So that cost us seven quid, was that right? Seven, seven pound each. per person. Yeah. How much is it for kids? Five. Five, there you oh, go. They do family ticket, two adults, two children for 20 pound. Brilliant. So I'll just show you all this. There's plenty to see here. I'm looking around, there's absolutely loads of stuff to get on camera for you. So I'm just gonna take the time for all you um, playing aircraft enthusiasts. I don't want to miss anything. Not real, it's not very big, seeing as it lands from the sky. Ah, right, fella. <laughs> I think he's a bit stiff. <laughs> it's been here a while. Yeah, it's a big, uh, big wheel. That. So this is a big. I don't think it is. This is a big rescue air force, Royal Air Force rescue uh, helicopter. You can see all the blades up there. Look, the blades are massive. You don't realise until you actually stand next to it how big these things actually are. But how small they are inside. Yeah. I mean, back in the day, this would be uh, be used for carting off the injured. It is very pulky inside there. Mm. Yeah. Little badges on there. We've got a mountain rescue truck here. Land Rover. We've got all the stretchers. That looks like a sledge. You get stuck in some snow. But look at the wall up. I just took, took some time for that. There's a guy climbing, climbing up the mountain. Or climbing down the mountain, rescue. It's a massive propeller. Up one of the planes. Bit of info there for you guys. So this is the western, this big helicopter here. Or the Westland Whirlwind Search and Rescue Helicopter. So it first entered the uh, Royal Navy, Navy Service in 1953. So it's, it says this mark carried a crew of three and of three and up to eight passengers. It did 109, 109 miles per hour. That was its maximum speed at 13,000 feet altitude. Now yeah. well, this here. The TV just come on with a bit of. Uh, have been largely overcome by the use of radio. A unit consists of an ambulance equipped with a powerful wireless set and a jeep which acts as a tender. Sweet. Vault in here. Directed by radio signals and headed by a skilled The crash family. rescue the tender, 1952. It's pretty tough going. So this big thing here, this is a jet fighter, is it? A Gloucester Javelin. It's a Gloucester Javelin. I'll show you this now, it's absolutely massive. That's the front. Two, yeah. Well, the majority of them do, to be honest with you. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, this is this is just the front end of it. Like, the wings have gone and the back end's gone, but Jesus Christ. Well, that's probably in there. Obviously, the blades have gone out of it. And this is like the, the rockets that they used to fire. The missile rockets. It's crazy how much damage that thing can cause. The Fire Street Missile. Beautiful. What's this one? This is a Turbo Mecha. Can't even say that word. Arty. Arty what? Arty Turret. It's an artillery. Oh, artillery Turret. Yeah, power unit. So yeah, when boarding your holiday jet, you may wonder where the electrical power for your lightning, etc., is coming from. Oh, it's a turbine for your um, for electrics. And that's it. That's what provides it. Yeah, that's great. 
back at the back end of this uh, Air Force rescue. What's this lady here? She's serving tea. That love. Kettle's boiling. It's actually smoking. Yeah. I can see it in the sky. Yeah. Kettle's <laughs> boiling. You've got your old boiler there. Huh? Listen. Oh, that's cute. The 1920s or something like this. Oh. What? What do you say? <laughs> you said something. Fancy a sandwich. A sandwich? Yeah, I'll have a sandwich. She's speaking in Welsh. <laughs> Little dinky radio. Cute, isn't it? Cute, isn't it? Nice artwork there. She's got a Manchester. A women's civil defence Manchester. Is that what it says? Yeah. Well, let's get that badge. There you go. I love the music. Fancy a sandwich. Fancy a sandwich. <laughs> Some models in the sea. Really Look at the size of these bullets. So these bullets are obviously what goes into the um, the fighter jets. Cannon shells. These are 20 millimeters. Look at the size of them. Oh they will take your head off. And the rest. <laughs> Bloody hell, this BFG's bloody boot. Look at the size of that thing. It actually says the, the voluntary boot. I mean, if you put my, if you put my foot there against that. <laughs> I'd that, say that's a size 20. Size 20, yeah. <laughs> so obviously these are like uh, parts off the plane. You've got the combustion uh, engines. You know, propellers, it looks like you've got all the shock absorbers. So it says there, wreckage from one of the Henkel's engines is on display against the wall. The score marks on the propeller clearly indicate that it was still turning at the moment of impact. So that's an actual propeller. Yeah, it's Look at the state of it. Bent. I would not like to think of what happened to the, uh, the pilot on that plane. Yeah. Unfortunately. I love this. Uh, memorial that they've done here. The uh, paintings on the wall, it's really nice. Yeah, they've took the time out to do this. So on the other hand, there's the wheel to it probably. <laughs> oh goodness. That's the wheel to the parts. Crazy that. Sergeant, they are. Sergeant Bickerdyke. Bickerdyke's lucky escape, so he escaped <gasps> from this one. Wow. On 23rd of August 1943. 1943. Yeah. Who was flying is Avro Anson. So that's a wartime gas mask for babies. That one's that's that one down there. Mm. Cute. It's not. That looks like it's a has scary. That looks like one of them hazmats. Hazmat. Hazmat. All your battle gear stuff. Your boots. They look like Uggs but it back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> You've got your armour. Is that a bulletproof vest? Yeah. Or some sort of protection vest? Some uh, oh, nice medals. Some nice medals there. There's a Victoria Cross there. I watched the glare on me uh, on my camera. These medals were awarded to David. David Lord. David Lord. Well done, sir. Mm. What's down here? Is anything down here? Yeah, loads and loads of metal. Well, it's a matchbox um, match aeroplane. Right, a jet. I love all these, uh, these old posters. posters and stuff. Really nice. Oh, it's lovely here. Yeah. So these are all little model planes. Some of them aren't so small. Collectors. I love them. We've got them all up here as well. It's a plain enthusiast's paradise, this plane. Isn't it just? Yeah. I am shocked I've not been in here before. My keys said shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a TARDIS. That's a bit random, isn't it? It is a little bit. I suppose it's a flying machine though, if you look at it. Yeah, true. It has some relevance. Does it stretch around? 
think we've gone around the wrong way. We've got a little cinema place. And of course, the site has done in itself. Cool. They're nice, aren't they? Like proper old school, you can't really see them in the dark here, but like old school cinema it's chairs, springy. aren't they? They're very narrow, but springy. It just feels yeah. like an old train seat. <laughs> it's a mighty Avril Lancaster. It's a damn buster. Don't break anything. Where's the chair <laughs> Oh, look at this. So, what, what are we in now at the moment? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> There's nothing to say. Oh, there we go. The Vickers Varsity. Is it? There's the little map on there. So, these are the old instruments that they had in the, uh, in the jet fighters. It's a bit dark in here, so I'm struggling to get some light. So you can have a look proper in the camera. It would be good if this was like a simulator. Yeah, turn it into a simulator. Yeah. Get some two, get three screens on there. So the pilot. A lot of people do build these kind of things though. Oh, what a shame people pick that seat up. I know. Wow. Wouldn't know which one to start with oh, first, I would wouldn't we? I mean, it looks more complicated back in the day compared to what it is now. It's just mm. a few buttons, isn't it? Still a lot. But yeah, got bloody hell. It's a lot to take in. So this is the Vickers Vosses, it's uh, a training simulator. We've got down here, right the steps. Oh. Oh, what have you done here? Just turn the lights out. I don't know. Was that supposed to happen? Well, I think, <laughs> I think it's supposed to, there we go. There we are. Project. It's for the projector. There we go. There we go. I think it's loading up something. Oh. Oh, that's cool. All right, now be seated. You all know the destination of tonight's flight. And the reason for this short briefing is that now we have a film available of our flight route to our target. As I have another meeting to attend straight after this briefing, any questions you may have after watching the film will be answered by group leader. Right, start the film. Going dark. Well, as you all know your way across the channel, we'll pick up on the film as our route takes us along the course of the river. After passing the small jetty near the timber yard, where the barge is moored, look out for the pylons across the river. Guys, take it all in. Yeah. Is this the uh, cabin offices? I've had the I don't know, but it says there's a ventilation shaft that was equipped with filters to protect the post off the post staff from radiation and toxins. All oh, right, chemical warfare. And look at them beds though, they look so nice. Yeah, they're probably comfy in the beds that I've slept on last night, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll give you that one. Let's 
try to take my time so we can get it all in for Me and Debbie don't know really much about this stuff, so we're just kind of winging it. That's the most cold, that. It is. Most cold. So it's, so it's just like going to do number one at Big Drop. Hello? Must have them upstairs in here because it's rattling. Yeah, I think there's um, actual. Yeah, we'll go down there first. This is the Seahawk. Sea Hawk is Seahawk. We've had to fold the wings in to get it in. Well, you can actually sit in this one. She was sitting in this one. We'll have a mooch in here, see if we can get in it. Yeah. Jesus. Let's climb in. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> God, it feels tiny. Jesus. Oh. So this is the view from, from the... Uh, vampire cockpit. Vampire cockpit. Vampire T M. I've seen we've got it's uh seen got the pedals at the bottom. Oh my god. You can actually play with all the stuff in here. That's pretty sick. It's scary. What, what do I look like from out there in my plane? Check me out on your plane. <laughs> I could do with my little steering wheel though. <laughs> we don't have steering wheels on a plane. Oh, you do, you have these little steering panels on. Look at the wings spanning this though. That's quite large. It's got all the buttons on. Again, it's a bit dark, but it's got the uh, little control panels with the buttons on. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> it's got an engine, engine button. Oh, that is. Do you know what's crazy? Where's the ejector button? Dive. Brakes on. Been in the sky. Yeah. It is mad that it's been in the sky, yeah. this. Sick. It's <laughs> from there. Vampire cockpit. I'd love to wear one of these outfits. Well, they, uh, they're pretty nice, aren't they? Yeah, they're really smart. Old school. How are you, how are you carrying? Can you imagine, uh, can you imagine walking around with them suits on now? Now, look a bit straight. So this is the plane that I've just been in. Yeah. I've got your little control. Oh, oh. I kind of moved something. <laughs> so we've got this little control panel here, and you can move the plane inside. That's sick. Very interactive. And uh, Debbie's blowing something in there. <laughs> Yeah, I like this. It's uh, quite interactive, isn't it? What does this one do? This one's got some funky, funky switches. Oh, so you're turning all the... Oh, look, there's a little plane going across the sky. What? They're going round. Oh, yeah, check <laughs> that in the background. It's landing on the boat, on the ship. So what does this one do? I'm not quite sure. Oh, all the little turrets are moving on the ships. How cute. So you press the red button, that makes the uh, the little planes fly around on the landing plat pads. This is the HMS Art Royal and, and the HMS, HMS Diamond. Diamond. A better shot actually through here. Look. Thank you. 
That was cute. This here is one of the engines, it looks like one of the engines. The RB199. In fact this is a this looks like one of them afterburner. Is that an afterburner engine? I need to have a look, don't I? Made by Rolls Royce. It's the I Ivo Air Aero from the 1969. How's the tornado multi-role combat aircraft? There's some more over here. Slim slim what is it called? Sling bear. Sling be cadets. Slings be. Slings be cadets. Slings be cadet. Yeah, can't even get my words right. The Debbie's attempting to try to get into a, a fighter jet. It's tight in there. Tight? <laughs> Not much for tall birds like me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can get, get in. Oh my so this is the Hunter cockpit. Yeah. I'm gonna probably get stuck in here now. <laughs> it's a bit snug, isn't it? It is very snug. In fact, well, that's probably it? as much snug as what that one I've just been in. So look, look, look at the size comparisons. Like you're sat in there, look how big this thing is from the, the back end. And you've got to fly this bloody thing, so. Do you know what? Visibility wouldn't have been great either. Because, no. I mean, look, it's not, it just. And ambitious. that's why you rely on these. Yeah. You know, the, the so way there's your you, Mac. So that's your speed, your speedometer. Your speed, yeah, your positioning. That's, or is it? Mac. Oh no, Mac is um, like speed of sound, is it? God knows. I'm pretty sure somebody in the comments will tell us. And then knots, there's your speed. So you'll be doing knots, don't you, in the air? There's your oil pressure. Altitude. <laughs> That is not comfortable. So I'm moving my legs sideways. You've got to think as well when this is, this is throwing you about in the sky. When you like, you could you do like, a loop de loop in this? You could, yeah, you can do, or you could have done. Well, say. You know, when the lid's over. Yeah, but you've got to think you'd be strapped in really tight. Yeah, I know it'd be so uncomfortable. So it'd be and really uncomfortable and restrictive. I mean, to be fair, this is uncomfortable. My legs. Yeah. Right now. Not for big birds, are they? They're definitely not for big people now. I mean, I'm only five foot nine, so I wouldn't like to know if somebody. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> you nearly made it. Are you good? Yeah, back in the day. Yeah. 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 Secret and sub hidden, I don't know. Yeah, but possibly. There are a lot of advanced intro, uh, electronics in there, which is why the cockpit's closed. But right. I remember somebody assuring me that it's so when they land, it's the pilot shot forward and it's just up in banging his head. Yeah, that would make sense. And I said, well, you do realise that these things land that way. <laughs> yeah, not down. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. But he was adamant, no, no, that's to protect the pilot's head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think a bit of sponge would protect the head. No. The, the best thing ever was the, the vampire. Yeah. Yeah, that vampire is amazing. Because the, um, you can get two the wing is only an inch from the hunter, 
Yeah. Someone was once most concerned because these days you get lots and lots of really fat people. <laughs> and if a fat person got in the cockpit, it might tip over. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was a bit concerned about getting in that thing then because I'm so long, I thought I was going to get stuck. Yeah, but that's the thing. I mean, you're getting very really restricted. You can't see anything, can you? Can you imagine the it smells like engine. The Bristol Hercules. And then we have the Rolls Royce Griffon, which is that one. Rolls Royce Pegasus Mark 105. I think that this is. I think that's that one. What's that? I mean, from that to that. Yeah, this guy here. Years. Yeah. Flew the channel in that. So what's that called? That's a blurry. That's a what? Blerio. A Blerio. Blerio. So that's one of him. the one of the first kind of uh, prototype planes. Yeah, 1910. That yeah. Across the channel in that. Just in that. No, no. I mean, no shade from the elements. Like you've got half an inch of plywood as your, as your board mm. that you sat on. There's no protection from the. Yeah, elements. no parachute or anything. <laughs> <laughs> you get you get sort of oil spray from the engine. <gasps> oh. So. God, yeah. He's a brave man. He was oh, yeah. a brave man. But yes. I, was, I was saying, all those wires there. Yeah. They're connected by the fabulous technology known as a fucking eye. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? Yeah. Because uh, when we put it up there, we had to take it to bits, put it on, then reassemble it. And yeah. You just Jesus. Hook it on. <laughs> That's it. It's not secure at all. You would not catch me up there in that. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Excellent. Like it's going to sit in this cockpit. Which one? The uh, Hunter. I think you get a bit stuck. That one. <laughs> Beautiful. Do you thank him for your time? I didn't know, but I will do before we leave. So you had to put something safe Yeah, just in case you catch your head on it. Yeah. I'm going to attempt to sit in this thing now, the hawker. Uh, the hawker thing Yeah, that'd be bad, babe. Uh, so he said the uh, the roof is retractable on this. It is. Oh. So if you get in. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, show everyone your side first before yeah, I get in. I'll put the roof on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's have a laugh. Make sure you're like you right back so I'll well, back as far as I can, oh, baby. Just don't go down the stairs. I don't want to get hurt you. <laughs> oh. They are really restrictive, aren't they? This is why you're getting in and I'm not. So if you can grab Oh god, this bloody chair's uncomfortable. They always are. <laughs> So you can grab the top there, I think you can, that's it, you can slide it over. Hey! Ooh, claustrophobic, eh? It looks very claustrophobic. God. I can't hear you. A little bit. I can hear you now. So, even if I had some sponge on this seat, yeah. I feel like it would still be uncomfortable. But. The pedals are still working, it's you've got crazy right and left. Close they all are, isn't it? <sighs> so what what are you doing with your feet there? Do they oh yeah that's nice. I'm guessing that's the rotation of the wings. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. We're not pilots, so I wouldn't know. There's a lot missing. I wouldn't like to try and fly it right now. <laughs> It'd be a bit uh, dangerous, wouldn't it? Oh this is amazing. Like just having that feel of being inside the cockpit. 
Yeah. yeah, I don't think I could be in there. That's uh, rather claustrophobic for me. Definitely not. And I probably wouldn't get in anyway because of my death lamp for me. It's mad that, that this is your thing to protect you from getting sucked out of the plane. Pretty much. <laughs> right, mm -hmm. let's try and get out of this bloody finger. Should we get this? I'm not going to stop filming because. I feel a bit bad that you have to like stand on the seat to get out. Yeah. But yeah, just give us the uh just give us the camera. I just want to take like a visual the top point, just like a visual length for this thing. Obviously the will the the wings are folded up right there. Oop. So this is the plane that is going on about that uh, flew the, the channel. One of the first prototype planes. What have you found? I don't know. Oh, sweet. Using a num truck from a wing. You put 10p in. I've oh, got that little shooty thing here. Yeah. You've got to hit the target. Now this is, I mean, that would go round and you like it. Yeah. Ah, oh, right, so tur yeah, the turret. So they'd be in a, in a turret mounted up there, and then this would fly around with the plane, the turtle would go around the track. Yeah, and, and it's a training simulator back in the day. Well, that's how they uh, taught guns. True. Yeah. And that's what this place was mainly about. Right. But that there, there's a video here that I've been acting for years to, and it explains it really well, and it's not working. Oh, God. But that is what, how we taught our pilots in the Second World War. Oh, was it? Oh, man. That was one of the first ever flight simulators. Jesus, good size. It's American, but um, the RAF used it for all its flight and bomber pilots. And, uh, Isn't it amazing how much technology has gone on? Well, yeah, with... I mean, the operator here would use that to set the route and then set the conditions there, and then he'd throw nasty like, sort of turbulence and that of the pilot. Yeah. Who had to learn to be able to control the plane in certain conditions. But he could screw up as often as you like, you wouldn't kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Whereas this was a simulator for helicopter winchmen. So is this like our VR headsets that we've got now? Yeah, <laughs> in yeah. a way. Yeah. No, that's exactly what this is. Yeah. That's from RAF Valley. Right. I get you. This is what they used to train their the winchmen. Oh, four years. I mean, I, I was writing AI programs in the eighties. Really. And people talk about it now as though it's only just been yeah. invented. Yeah. But, but it's been around for years. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's it. I, I mean, I had to write AI programs for the degree. But that that's an actual set from Valley and that that's this set is going on about here. Yeah. In Valley, yeah. yeah. The Bulls Hotel. I know. We stayed there last night. Amazing. I love this. This is beautiful. Yeah. I love it all. It's crazy. <laughs> crazy how much it's changed. So we can enter a helicopter from here. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever entered a helicopter before. That is one thing I've never so, to get in. This is well, this is new for us. Oh, we can sit in here. And a little chopper. Shall we get in? Yeah. They're not very comfortable these I'm, things are I'm they? I'm pretty sure they would have had two seats here as well because this is the passenger seat. Yeah it is. Because the pedals are down the front there. That's true. So it would be even more cramped when if there yeah. was a, if they had two uh, two seats in here. Yeah it would. That's mad. Peer out the window. That's crazy. So what do you think of it in here? A bit, a bit scary. <laughs> like the thought of being in a helicopter scares me. 
Yeah. But especially the old type uh, yeah, helicopters. I mean, the, the technology nowadays is a bit more safer, but when you look around, it's like just like just one bit of part just goes kaput, and that's it. Yeah, you've had it. You've had it. But I'm pretty sure there was a, there would have been well made back in the day. Probably better more, made than they are now. Yeah, so more than what they are now. Yeah. They rely on computers for too many, too much now, don't they? Yeah, like, years ago, man, it was... man work. Yeah. So, uh, is this like a sun visory <laughs> yellow tinge of glasses? Yeah, it stops the sun from stop, yeah, melting going, you. <laughs> yeah, burning you while you're sat here, yeah. That's mint. Yeah. Lifting off in this thing. Would you? Yeah. Well, you're you not. wouldn't be straight, would you? You sort of like tip. One thing I've never done is going to be a helicopter. Yeah. So this is a switchboard back in the day, yeah? Switchboard. Yeah. Do you know why? Don't know what that is. Dragon Rapid cockpit. Oh, got all other types of cockpits. You get your seat. Chairs or something. <laughs> yeah. It's scary. I mean that, that's just like a little seat. That was the that was a that can't have been. That, that's yeah. that'll be uncomfortable. Even a bit as I say, I think that's what was in that hunter. Yeah, like a bit a of foam. Seat, yeah. Isn't it? Even a bit of foam in there. Ah, the parachute. Oh my goodness. I don't think I can trust that thing to save my life. Check if there's any holes in it. Yeah, there probably is. <laughs> So look, on the seat itself, you've got your parachute that's tucked in, and obviously when you press that ejector seat, that'll just poof, the seat just goes in the sky, and then the parachute will come out. The weight of that, just that on its own, if you have to wrap that around you. Jesus, yeah. yeah. That's the air museum. It was brilliant in there, wasn't it? It was. from the airport museum which is over here a little short little short drive away and we're uh, at Danina Stinell beach tides tide are really in at the moment well, on a nice day this beach is there's a lot more sand uh, it's because the tide's right in at the moment yeah. hey windy. Windy. hiya me again so we've just pulled up because Trev needed the toilet, so he's just gone to the toilet. But there's um, just down the road from that beach where we've just been, um, there's, on the way back towards the main road, you've got like a hill, and I've climbed up this hill. It's, uh, it doesn't look too steep, but when you get up there, it's a really, really, really great view of, um, of everywhere that you're surrounding you. I mean, even the sheep are trying to get hot, you know, up there, but they're all huddled there. I think they're trying to shield themselves from the wind because that wind's really really cold today yeah there's a beachfront um just around this bend yeah, it's got a little cafe on it and stuff like that it's a really nice little place to come for when it's sunny especially when it's sunny i think you need the weather here it's it's extremely cold today and because we're up in the hills a bit you can feel that briskness of the wind
So welcome guys to Carnarvon Castle. You can see it behind me here. We're just uh, arrived now. So let me just pay for the old parking tariff. Yeah, look at the size of this. Lovely. It's also got a harbour here as well, as you can see. Little boot. Tide we're right in because this is quite high. So when the tide goes out, this is really low. Yeah. In fact, there's like um, dry spots in the middle of this. It's exactly. like the overflow, yeah. So did you say you can get a boat trip on here? You can, just if you go over the bridge over there. All right. Um, somewhere over there that you can get a little boat trip. It takes you on like a little tour. I don't know if it's seasonal or whether they'll be on at the moment, but you can definitely get a little boat trip. Um, it takes you, takes you round. We're just going to walk around the perimeter of the castle. There we go. So the site of the castle was first fortified by the Norman Earl. It's one of the entrances to the castle, which is shut off. That's a big boat. Nice. So if you ever come to uh, Carnarvon Castle, basically the castle still well, the castle walls are still surrounding the area and they've put well they've built built houses inside the castle so you come walking through here there's the uh, castle walls and uh, stretches all the way down there we've just walked we've just walked this side of the area so if you come under here into the castle middle uh, you see all the houses that have been built inside which is uh, it's a pretty neat idea, isn't it? It is. Uh, all these lovely, uh, funky colours of uh, of paint that they've chosen for their houses here as well. What's this place? Bed and breakfast? Looks like it, yeah, it's a nice little place. It's very quiet because it's a Sunday morning. That's another entrance down there to come up into the middle from the castle wall. And as you walk down here, is that the town centre? I think that's uh, if I remember right. Then it's... it's like really eerie because it it's is, quiet. Isn't it? I suppose weekdays, I don't know, Week, weekdays and weekends I might think, be a bit more. I think, to be fair, I think it's because it's February. Completely out of season, isn't it? What's this? A statue of summit? It's still kind of got a castle feel inside, hasn't it? Yeah, it's kept the originality of it. Yeah. That's it. Can we look and look at the prices? Yeah. Let's have a look. These guys. Well, the chances are we won't go in today because we haven't got much time on the car park. No, we need to head back, don't we? Yeah. Well, give you some idea of the pricing. £12.50 for adults, Jesus Christ, members free, £40 for their family. We've got the palace vaults on the left there, lovely building, looks like they've, uh, you can see where they've cut the wall out of you, yeah. just so they can put a road in. Yeah. Um, Some steps, you see the steps there, the old steps that you used to have to walk up. centre part now here yeah so in the summer this square here well this big this square thing in front of us this big space they normally have like little rides up and for children and things like that and like market stalls and things people selling things um so it does attract quite a lot of people uh, but at the moment obviously we're way out of season so there's not much going on but between 
me, you and the camera. I prefer it like this. It's nice. It's it nice and quiet. quiet. It's nice and quiet. Yeah. Let's go and get this guy on here. David Lloyd George, the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Stephen's just climbed on the, the dragon. Remembrance Day. This is where your local amenities are. Down here. Just come for a Costa coffee to get out of the uh, cold for a bit, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And my food again. The food. Love the food. So I think <laughs> after this, we're gonna do our intro and we're gonna uh, head back to outro. To, outro, sorry. <laughs> did it, what did I say? Intro. <laughs> yeah, I call it intro. Yeah, we're gonna do our outro and uh, we're gonna leave and we're gonna and head, head home. back home. So. To sunny Manchester. Sunny Manchester. <laughs> yeah. Smashed it. I think that concludes our little uh, mini adventure this weekend. It's been really nice, relaxed, um, and I hope that you've enjoyed all of the content that we've created while we've been here. Sort of uh, involved you with our little bit of free time from the children and a bit of us time. Uh, we've explored quite a new places haven't we? We have, yeah, it's places been an Trev's not been yet, so. It's been and, an island. Yeah, and places that I've not, not seen. Yeah, so we uh, we are going to sign off now, so if you have enjoyed our content, uh, make sure you give us a subscribe and uh, hit that like button, because it really helps the, uh, the, the channel massively if you can do that. And uh, we'll see you guys on the, the next one. Not a clue where we're going to be next. It could be anywhere. It's a mystery. It's a mystery with us anyway. <laughs> we'll take care. See you later, guys. Bye.